This week as church, we celebrate the baptism of Christ. And this feast raises for us a very interesting question. Why would Jesus Christ, the one person that the church recognizes as being perfect human, need to be baptized? The answer lies, of all places, in military strategy. Any good military strategist will tell you that you can't defeat an enemy you don't know or don't understand. The military actually spends a great deal of time and effort training certain of its members in the languages and cultures of those people who are perceived as those who most need to be subdued. Well, Jesus Christ is God's answer to the endless war between creature and creator. He is the peace offering and the peacemaker. He is the one who ends the war. In a way, we are defeated by Christ. But Christ defeats us in the most wonderful way. He doesn't destroy us. Rather, he saves us. Like a good military strategist, he takes upon himself everything that it is to be human. And therefore, even though he is the perfect man, he too needs to be washed. He too needs to die. And because of that, he ends the war between us and God. He ends the endless self-destructive tendencies we have. The only thing he asks of us in return is that we turn to those whom we might consider enemies, those whom we do not understand, those with whom we feel tension, and do likewise.